Hey everyone, it's Jeff again. Wanted to show you the easiest way that I have found to be able to share a slide deck while you're presenting in Hopin. So here I am presenting in a Hopin session room and I have opened a second tab and this has my Google slide deck in it. And so from here, here's the sequence of steps that I would do is one, just get your slide deck open and ready to go. And then two, I would go ahead and click the share screen button. Uh, in the Hopin interface, choose Chrome tab, choose your slide deck, and say share. Brings you over to this tab. If you were, if you go back and look here, you can see now that people can see that tab. In fact, they see the whole interface of that tab, right? Um, but then over here, what I would do is don't click present just yet. First, select this little down arrow or the triangle and say presenter view. That gives you uh, a second little window here. It automatically takes that tab that we had open with the slide deck and puts it into presentation mode. And I'm going to switch back to this tab here that's kind of the, the room that I'm in. And under the window menu, I can bring back this and bring this back to the front since my other window is covering up the whole screen. But now I, this little window here is the one that I want to use to actually manage my presentation. So uh, you can click on next and it moves the slides. You can see back here it moved to the next slide. Uh, this one actually has a video on it. So if I click next again, instead of going to the next slide, it actually will start the video. You can see that. Hi, everyone. And then I can click I'm next again. Get... It takes a couple tries there to get it to stop playing that video anyway. So it goes on to the next slide though. Uh, and you can see previous and next slides and I can move back and forth in my slides and the, everyone else sees this. So to some degree, you can even just put this right on top of your slides because you don't really need to see your slides probably anyway. As long as you can see the thumbnail of it here, you know what's there. You don't know, you're probably not going to read the actual words to them anyway. Uh, but this gives you the, the previous buttons and the next button. You can also literally jump around your, your slide deck if you need to. If you have speaker notes, they're going to be displayed here. Uh, and then in the meantime, over here on the right hand side, because I'd already clicked on the Q&A tab, I can see the Q&A tab. Uh, I can also click over here to see the chat. And again, because now this window came to the front to click on chat, I need to use Windows to bring this back uh, to be able to see this, right? You can alternatively, of course, rearrange your windows and, and change their sizes so that you can see more than one window at a time. Uh, let's bring this one here, you know, and I could put this one kind of over here to the side and, and it might be a little easier if you want to do that. But however you want to arrange your windows, but know that you've got this separate little window that can float on top of your primary window that is the hop and interface. Uh, so that you can then uh, advance your slides as needed or jump around in your slide deck as needed, see the speaker notes as needed, as well as be able to see chat and Q&A features uh, so that you can manage what's going on in your room and not have just simply your slides and not be able to see the rest of the interface. I know that can be very disconcerting as a presenter. Uh, it's hard enough to present online when you really can't see everyone's smiling faces. It's even harder when you can't even see their chat. So. Uh, this will allow you to at least bring that up and you can click back and forth between chat and Q&A. Um, okay, so hopefully that will help you uh, be able to manage your presentation. Thanks, everybody.